Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you agree with me that Hogging Face is one of the best platform to explore the large language models. And at the same time, Olama makes running these large language models locally in your computer, right? So these two things are kind of really good if you want to run language models. The problem here is if you want to run uh, models from the Olama, the models needs to be in the Olama, right? If you go to the model sections here, only the models which are here can be run. But in Hogging Face, you can see there are how many models? If I go to the models, you can see there are 1 million plus models. And out of there, uh, there are many of this quantized version and the GGUF models, right? So what Hogging Face has done is if I go back uh, one step, it has made it so simple now to run these GGUEF models on Hogging Face. I have already created one video, I think last year or seven months before, how to create custom models from Hogging Face, GGUEF, right? You need to follow this whole step to create the model in the Olama and you can run it locally. But now that is the point what I am going to show you in this video. Hogging Face has done a super simple way with one line of command, as you can see here to run the GGUF models in your machine locally. How the video will proceed? First, I will show you how to run this with Olama in your local machine. And the second one is how you can directly uh, download the model into the OpenWave UI. Now, by the way, if you are new to OpenWave UI, I have created the video also last time, which is around one hour and many are finding it helpful also you can go there and see what is open but it is the interface to run the large language models locally so the thing one how to run it uh, locally in your terminal with Olama second one how to download it in the open way by so these two things we'll be exploring here let's get started okay so this is the documentation what hugging face is providing here inside gguf i'll provide the link in the description you can go through this but i will show you how you can do this you don't even need to log in in order to use this if there is some restriction from the model perspective that you need to log in if you go to the models just go here and type in the search i'm going to go with the llama 3.2 if i search okay it's g gguf and here there are different models. I can just go with 1 billion parameters. I will go with this one. So this is the user who uploaded this GGUF and you can see this is the model. Once you go here, you have already a clear idea. First, I will show you in the interface a little bit so it's easier for you to follow. This is the GGUF text uh, generation, 8 languages. This is the meta and so on. This is the text that is shown here. So if you want to know what, it, here is the link. You can see this is the eye icon. Now, if you want to know what is GGUF, Hugging Face has provided a whole documentation uh, about what is GGUF and how can you use it and so on. You can see here. So now let's say that you want to explore this here. You can just go here. Okay, this is Lama CPP matrix. What is the prompt format? What are the different uh, quantization types? For example, for the same model, you have different quantizations. And you can see what is the file size of this particular model. And the description is the best one because you can use those particular models which you think is best for your use cases right so high quality recommended recommended okay there is a recommended recommended and you can see a slightly lower quality with more space savings recommended because it's just 0 0.78 gb and so on depending upon your machine in the local machine because many of you ask me that okay your model is running in your machine quite fast but i'm getting so less response it's because your machine's uh, hardware or the infrastructure in a way must handle the bigger uh, models. For those cases, if you want to try, just go with the small ones. This is how you can explore here. Just go through here and see all the documentations. It's up to you, right? So this is one way to understand which one you want to download. How to download? There is another way also. If you go to the files and version sections, you can see also, okay, what is the different same as file size before but then when it is uploaded into the hugging face so now it was 24 days ago there was 12 days ago the readme file was updated this way you can also know when this is up updated right but i will show you the easiest way to uh, download it right now if you go to this use this model if you click on this one you can see here there are different ways how you can use this particular model local apps there is Lama CPP, there is LM Studio, there is VLLM, there is Olama. So I'm going to show you Olama in this case. And now this is the really good 
point that I discussed before, because now you know which model you want to download. You don't need to copy and paste all the different things. Just go here, choose the one that you want to download. You can just go here. Okay, I want F16. Or you already know that which uh, small version of model you want to download. Just go here. Let me say that I want to go with uh, F16. It provides the code already here. I just copy this. And now I go to the terminal. By the way, I have already Olama installed in my machine. So what you need to do is follow this. You need to have Olama. If you are new to Olama, I have created 11 videos. Just follow this. Or you can just go to the Olama's website. If you just go here, there is download button for different machines. You can just download it. I have already downloaded different models. Just go here and check if you have Olama installed or not. It is installed and it shows all the models that is being already downloaded here. Now what I can do is just control V. And if I enter, you can see it is pulling the manifest. Meaning that it will now download that particular model in your uh, local machine. So you can see that this is uh, 2.5 GB model. And it will take around one minute to download this. When it is downloading, I will show you now where is this model being stored in your local machine. This is in Mac. I think it works somehow similar to other machines. So if I go to the new tab. Here I can go to cd root.olama. You need to go here. If I do ls, you can see there are different things, but the main thing is these logs and manifest or, or models because manifest is inside the models. So I can go inside the models. You can see there are two things blobs and manifest. If you go inside the blobs, what you will see here, I will do ls. These are all the SHA-256 strings of that particular files, right? The model that you downloaded, meaning that file names are the SHA-256. So as you can see here also, SHA-256 strings. Just if you want to know more, you can just go here. And the next one is if you go one step back, LS, if I go inside the manifest, right? If I do LS again, there is registries. One is registry.olama.ai. That is where the models we downloaded from the Olama website resides. And the one with the hf.co is what I just downloaded here, right? You can see here it is already downloaded now. And I am using hf.co, right? Now I can just go here and say, hello, this is just the example. Okay, it replies fast because depending upon your machine, as I said you, it replies how you want to reply. I can just say, bye, I am out of it. But one thing is also that if I now go inside hf.co, hf.co, and if I do ls, you can see there is uh, this particular user's name. If I go inside the user's name, I can see there is one more that is being downloaded. If I go to uh, registry, um, there is library. If I go inside, you can see there are different models downloaded. This is how easily you can distinguish. One thing I just want to show you also. In the in the hugging face, you can of course download hf.co, right? But I let me go and choose uh, Q80. I will just uh, copy this, right? But what I will do here is you can also just go anywhere. You can control V, but instead of hf.co, that is the short version for hugging face. But you can also do hugging face. Let me also go at you hugging. I can say huggingface.com and the same thing with the different things. If I run enter, you can see it will pull. Okay, it says pulling manifest. I think it is huggingface.co, not huggingface.co. If I go here and run enter, it will pull the model. And this is 1.3 GB. So it is going to be downloaded fast. So what happens with this approach is if I now go again here, I can show you from the same page when it is. But now there will be another registry also being shown a uh, place where I just showed right in the manifest. Now when you use this huggingface.com uh, .co, it will show other registry also, but it will be using the same SHA, SHA file. So it will not be using the new one, right? Unless, unless there is the update in the model side itself uh, when it was downloaded before and when it is downloaded now. So now it is downloaded same as before. Just an example. Hello, I will go outside. Bye. And I will go one step, two step back. If I do ls, now you can see there is huggingface.co. If I go inside huggingface.co, there is again the username because I'm using the same username but a different uh, model, right? So if I do ls, I can go inside this folder. I will do ls and now you can see there is different.
this is how you can quickly download and see where it is in your local machine using just one uh, one line uh, of this right now let me choose some other model let me say i want this k model i will copy this and now i will go to to the open web ui as, as i said you before also please refer to this video if you are new to open uh, web ui but let me go to open web ui so this is the interface sorry and now here you can choose all the models that you downloaded right here you can see i have already downloaded some of the models but if i refresh the page now here let me refresh it i will see the models that is being downloaded just now also now you can see there is f16 and other models are shown these are the models downloaded by olama and if olama is running then you can see all those in the open web ui along with other models also if you use the api keys i have explained this in the one hour video how to download now the same thing we did in the terminal we don't need to do it in two places or let's say that it's easier to do already from the ui if you are a ui person for that you can go to your username here go to admin panel go to the settings go to model section and here in this pool of uh, model from olama.com here you can paste what we just copied from the hugging face you can use this olama ron you can just remove this olama ron like this and then you can even download it it says pulling the manifest now you can see it is pulling that particular model and when this particular model is being pulled and you can see the sha 256 string is already shown for this uh, particular model and now this will be in your local machine because this is running all locally once this is downloaded as you can see here it is quite fast because i'm using 36 gb of ram and it is quite powerful but for you it might take some time you can see it is downloaded successfully and now if you go to the new chat you can see uh, all the different models now you can just go here choose the model and here you can say instead of terminal you can have interactions already from the open web ui so yeah that's all for this video i hope now you get uh, the idea how quickly you can download the uh, ggui of models from hugging face into olama and run it in the terminal also in this open web ui which has become one of the best uh, ui for running uh, the models locally thank you for watching and see you in the next one